Okay, now let us learn Brown's law for a solution containing non-volatile solute. In the last class, we saw Brown's law for a solution containing volatile components. Both were volatile. Now, this is the next case. In this particular solution, you can see both non-volatile solute it is given in blue color and this is the volatile component. So, suppose this black is the volatile component. All the dots that I have shown here is the Vapor pressure contributed only by the solvent. The solute is not contributing to the vapor pressure because it is non-volatile in nature. In such case, Raoul's law can be stated like this. The vapor pressure of a solution containing non-volatile solute is directly proportional to mole fraction of solvent. Now see P1 proportional to x1 because x2 is not contributing anything. So, p1 is equal to p10 x1. So, in a case where one component is non-volatile or non-volatile solute, the vapor pressure will be contributed only by the volatile solvent. In such case, Raoul's law can be written like p1 is equal to p10 x1. Now let us see the graphical representation for this. Here you can see x is equal to 0 and here x is equal to 1. x is the mole fraction of solvent. Since the solute is not contributing in this case, let us see the graphical representation. We have learned that mole fraction and the vapor pressure are directly proportional. So from x is equal to 0 when we move to s, x is equal to 1, you can see it varies in the linear form. And this position you can call it as P10 because this is vapor pressure of pure solvent. Here solute is not contributing. So X is equal to 1 and here this point is P10.